And welcome to the Geek Flicks and Just the Podcast YouTube channel. Today we finna talk about the Eternals for a bit. I'm your host, Edder Paz, with me as sometimes me con PM. Felix. Yeah, it's gonna be, I don't know how long it's gonna be, but we're just gonna chat about Los Eternals. We finished watching the Eternals last week. Um, Eternals being the newest Marvel movie about the saga of the Eternals, which is a race of immortal beings who lived on Earth and shaped its history and civilization, starring everybody, Gemma Chan, Richard Madden, Angelina Jolie, Salma Hayek, Kit Harington, Kumail Nanjiani, Brian Tyree Henry, everybody in this motherfucker, Doug. For a second, I was going to tell a spoiler, and I was like, uh-uh. We're going to hold off to the spoilers. I, no, I, I was going to say a name. No, no, hold on. Yeah, no, no, hold on. <laughs> hold on. I'm gonna, I am going to take the chain off my dog. But for now, what did you think about the Eternals, homie? Oh, mm. it's like that. Mm-hmm. Oh, for me, for you, I think it's the worst Marvel movie, but I don't M- hate it. MCU or Marvel? MCU. Okay. Ah, because Marvel movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think Electro was the worst one, but I still. Uh, that's the only the the only Marvel movie I hate. Yeah, yeah we got it. We we got to specify MCU. You mean? Oh, that that and Blade Trinity. Oh, Blade Trinity is a cluster. Anyways, I think it's the worst Marvel MCU movie, but I don't hate it because I liked a lot of ideas, Mm -hmm. but they didn't like pan out as I thought they would. Yeah. Then a lot of stuff happened. A lot of stuff I thought was going to happen didn't happen. And it's way too fucking long, dude. Jesus fucking Christ. I was like, oh, my God. Um, The acting was kind of flat. Mm hmm. Um, the, let's say the lore they, they, they worked with was, I was kind of pissed off about that, how they, how they treated the, like the origin of the Eternals in Mm. a way, but all in all, let's say I didn't fall asleep with it. I almost did twice. Yeah. Like hardcore. (laughs) Um... It's, I want to preface by saying it's not bad. Uh huh. It's not bad. There are some good parts in it. It is really long. The best way I can explain this is that this is Marvel's Justice League. Yeah, let's say that. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, yeah. Damn. Si es cierto. Because there's way too many characters. You don't have enough time to explain. It's also dark as fuck. And it's really, really dark. Um, but I feel like. It suffers from the way too many characters trope. There's just way too many. There's way too many. And stories. Because there, as as what I could tell, there's like two main storylines. Mm-hmm. And and one of them gets like tossed away like it was nothing to finish the other one. Yeah. And those storylines could have made maybe two or three movies. Yeah. That's why I mean but that it's the Justice League. That this needed... A couple movies to set this movie up. Instead, mm-hmm. they just diarrhea the everything on the screen. Um, there are like there's no every character is cool. Every character has a purpose. Every character mm-hmm. the differentiate. You can tell the difference by they they're each their own thing, right? You got the little girl, yeah. you got the main lady, you got La Titties and La Salma Hayek running around. <laughs> which is which was a uh a, a blasphemy that they covered her up. God it's, damn. It's not all about titties, but she's still banging at whatever age. <sighs> Hell yeah. Uh, as well as Angelina no se queda atrás, right? No way, no. God I can't damn. stop you can't stop staring at Angelina. And Gemma Chan. It was fucking gorgeous as well. And her performance, she was, she was uh, acting. I mean, the, the character was kind of boring. Everybody's kind of like boring, but they, they have personality. Oh, yeah, Kumail Nanjiani was doing, the- yeah, Kumail Nanjiani was yeah. being Kumail Nanjiani. But I feel like the movie was missing heart. I didn't. Goddamn, Salma. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, like, it didn't pull you in. It doesn't tug at your heartstrings as much as he thought it was. And it's a movie about the fucking earth is going to explode. Um, I will say that this is the only movie where I did feel like, holy shit, are we going to lose? 
you know mm-hmm. because really? they did i did feel a little bit like oh we might lose like they might do something crazy because going in i don't know nothing about the eternals mm-hmm. i don't I, all these characters are new to me i don't know their tropes i don't know nothing right just by mm-hmm. the first glance is like okay this guy icarus is superman right he's just straight up superman he's and they they oh sorry they, they say tell superman. you in the movie i was like can they do that i don't know they said superman like four times yeah they did it um, he's Superman, and Salma is like the boss of all of them. And mm-hmm. then you got you got Gemma Chan, aka what was her character? Cersei. Cersei. Hey, <laughs> giggity giggity goo. Um, <laughs> she's like taking over, right? And then you got mm-hmm. Angelina, who was by far my favorite. Okay. Angelina was my favorite. I I, I want I just I want a solo Angelina movie. She she struggles with inner demons let's say right Mm -hmm. just to not spoil Uh and i like that battle and i like that switch of dr jekyll and mr hyde all of a sudden Mm -hmm. and she kicks the most ass she's the she's my favorite i just i could watch angelina whoop ass just the the, the athena the the character with the Mm -hmm. she's like a like a greek goddess she's the guy well she's the greek goddess of war and all that shit was like fuck hell yeah and and Sama as Ajax as the boss lady, they were all just really flat. I do I do I do agree with that assessment mm-hmm. that they're all flat. Sprite, the little girl was was cool. Um, yeah. The deaf lady Makari was cool. Uh, Fastos, he's he's gay. That's his character. He's gay, and they make it a big deal about it. And the, the country's like, get over it, bro. <laughs> like, what? Okay, fuck off. He's gay, all right? <laughs> deal yeah. with it, right? It's not even a big did, deal. Did, Who cares? Did you see the the? The red carpet of the Eternals? No. The, I can't remember this dude, but it sounds like he's like he has hardcore lung cancer. Mm. He asked he was talking to who's supposed to be fastest, um, his husband. Oh, okay. And he's like, Do you know how many lives we're saving? And I was like, Okay, you can you can calm down, bro. I don't think you're saving lives. Yes, they shoehorn I think they shoehorn the representation. Okay, but saving lives. I mean, no. I don't think they should hurt the presentation. I thought it was fine. Yeah. They're making a big deal out of everything. That's though. why I think it's shoehorn because they made a so much big deal out no, of it. Not them. Like, eh. I'm saying everybody else. Exactly. That's what I'm talking about. Them, the the people, the the most people. I was like, oh come on. I'm, I mean, I, I got kind of tired of them listening to it. That when I saw it, I was like, okay, it it, it is. I don't know. It, uh, something felt kind of odd about it. I, it was fine to me. It was a, it was okay. a, like it, it was it was normal. It's normal. Like mm-hmm. why wouldn't there be a gay superhero? It's fine. What did piss me off was the people saying, "Oh, because I mean, I think by, by now everybody knows that this was like the first Marvel gay kiss." And I was like, "Oh, wow, they making such a big deal out of this." I and did, they, and they, that, they were like, Mwah. "See, all that shit didn't even was, register to me." Really? Neto? No, I like a kiss. It's a kiss, but I didn't think like, "Whoa, it's the I know. first." I didn't care. Who cares? Like, me. I was like, I, I thought there was going to be something like kind of like they're sucking face or whatever. But I was like, they're smooching. What the fuck is wrong with? I mean, what's so ground about that? They're smooching. Ooh, wow. But There's I, a I, I quote guess, unquote I, sex scene. Oh, yeah, what? there Why? is a sex scene. I, I was thinking that I did think about the sex scene. Like, whoa, all right. Shoulders rubbing. OK, that's mm-hmm. a little much. Maybe. I don't know. Like I never, like not a little much. I was like, it. Th- that's the one point where I did stop and think, like, have you ever seen anybody bang before in a Marvel movie? And I was like, I don't think so. In the MCU, I was like, I don't, I don't think so. But I'm saying, like, people who are hating on the fact that it, it's a gay character, and then I think the movie got pulled out from Dubai. Like, it's not gonna be. It's like, all right, just get over it, would you? I, this there's this podcast. Oh, there's this a guy on I follow on YouTube, and he. He literally said he would shit on the movie and piss on the movie just because how much he hated it. And I was like, I saw it. I don't see why you hate it that much. He was he was like going to and, and him him and his posse were like hating bad on it. And I was like, well, because okay. some people have fun hating, you know, yeah. and we, they, we, they we, kind we, of hate with a passion. Every um, almost a lot. Well, not almost a lot of things. I don't mind that they hate it. I just. When I saw this movie, I was like, okay, to me, it was very, it was boring, but I, I don't see how you hated it that much. 
because that's 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 the, I mean that's why we're not that successful because we're not we don't we don't we're not so passionate one way or another we're so vanilla about it that's why we're not probably <laughs> not interesting to t- to listen to right but mm-hmm. it, we're, it's just it's the truth right yep um representation and all that aside who I, I don't care they can be purple there there are purple characters on there it that, that doesn't matter the the problem with the movie is like i said before there are too many characters and you want us to care about all of them in a span of two and a half hours it's too much i feel like you can't you can't do that successfully you have to you have to spread it out a little bit um because they set the the character setup was like an hour and a half even more i think yeah and oh my god there were so many going back you know uh flashbacks some of them were not even necessarily needed to be like we we get it we get it right we get what you what, what your purpose was here and to not interfere with like human on human crime and you you're just here to defend us from the the what were they called the defiant no the what the uh, deviants deviants um which is a whole lot god damn it <laughs> which is a whole nother thing yeah um I get it. <sighs> I guess the easiest way I can say this is that the best part of the movies are the fights. I thought that the fight scenes were fantastic. All of them. They're great. The when they when they team up together and they're fighting, it, it feels I like it. It feels like I'm watching a video game cutscene or something. I feel like it's is uh or watching a team fighting, which yeah, is cool. It maybe not like like Shang Chi had the best choreo fighting. Oh hell yeah, by far. This has the best action fighting i don't know if that makes any sense no i i do get it because the cgi this is uh, the cgi fights here are cool i like them right if, do, as short as they were yeah it feels like when when you're playing injustice and you hit the button to like hit trigger an animation i feel like mm-hmm. i was watching that and it's entertaining the fighting was great i loved how there was like these four guys over on this side and this four guys over here and this guy punches that guy and the lady comes in fast it just feels like a team thing and i, re- I enjoyed that mm-hmm. the blah 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 in between was very very meh to me uh but the best part of the whole movie are the setups after which we're going to talk about in a second um that's the 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 most uh i would like to say like the saddest part Mm -hmm. that the best part of the movies are like the last what it sets up exactly what was it like two minutes of it yeah three let's say five yeah the movie is so meh that if you if you take out those setups, I wouldn't care for the sequel. No. But the setups are so vital. You're like, oh fuck! You're almost pissed that you gotta fucking keep watching. Mm-hmm. Um. But yeah, I do agree. This is this is probably the worst MCU movie. Um, it's entertaining though, but I wouldn't watch it again. Me neither. I wouldn't watch it again, and mm-hmm. it's it, it's sad because it, it feels like it was it was set up to to be super super successful because you have all these names in there and then for it to fall short like yes there were like the the karun the 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 indian guy he was great like he was he, he was funny i liked him a lot he was I like think- the little mascot that like the, the, the injects and then kumia nanjiani's comedy all that was great but there was something blatantly missing from the movie that didn't i really didn't me. like him no like his character the character i didn't He's like johnny him. cage like, mm. yep yeah. But I don't know why coming from him. Maybe it's because I'm I'm kind of used to him being like this goody two shoes guy. Yeah. Like in Stuber or in uh, Silicon Valley. Yeah. That in this one was kind of okay. Yeah. He was. He was. He's. He's Johnny Cage. That's literally what he is. And it's fine. It's fine. It's. It's all a big, huge, fine. Unfortunately, because all this pertains to a larger universe, you have to watch these. You have to. <sighs> But it is the worst Which is one. That the fact that they're part of the universe, it's it's the the thing that really uh worries me. Oh. Uh. Be- because so much stuff happened that whoa. It left me thinking a lot of stuff and I was like, oh my god, so why did this happened and only these guys got in but not these guys who supposed it and then ju- they're just like I, I started thinking way too much into it and i was like okay you know As what you do mm-hmm. exactly well, and let me, i was let like, me take the uh, chain off bro anything you want to say that's not spoiler spoilers what would you uh rate it oh this is a for me this is like a four damn maybe you a five. hated it that much well 
let's say five is mediocre. I think it's, I mean, I think I gave what Captain Marvel at six. But this is straight up a four. Shit. Yeah, because even a six is passable. It's okay. Five, it's completely. That's meh. my score. A six. Oh no, for me it's a four. Jesus Christ. Um, we're going into spoily territory, so if you've not seen the movie. Uh, feel free to leave a like and 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 go about your business. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I gotta take the reins off my homie so he can speak freely and spoil the <laughs> spoilers. So if you've seen the movie, stick around and, and and leave a comment down below what you guys think. Um, yeah, go ahead, bro. Spoil away. Now the story, the the fact that the the thing that kept me thinking was like, okay, we got two storylines, which pissed me off. You, we got the deviants that nothing they had nothing to do with like the og deviants okay i must preface this that the only thing i know about the eternals is like their let's say what they are and how they came up Mm -hmm. Uh, so the celestials uh created them as like the like peak peak beings then they created the deviants who were who had this gene that uh, led mutations run rampant on them Hmm. and but they weren't these robots that they tell you they are oh so so they straight up are like living beings like let's just say aliens and they live on titan now the story that this brings it conflicts totally with what the og lore is so i was like okay so i'm irked with that then the two storylines we got the deviancy with the deviant storyline and we got the celestial storyline if we would have just uh, ran through the Deviant story, it would have been an okay movie because it wouldn't have been like two and a half hours and it would have been a little bit more contained, leaving the Celestial storyline to a second movie or a maybe a, a like a major team up or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the fact that the Deviant story was like thrown off, mm-hmm. Like Athena killed the guy, and I was like, "Okay, yeah, he doesn't exist anymore. We're gonna go with the Celestials." The way, like, she, the way she killed them, though, I did pop in the theater. I was like, "Oh, oh it was badass." She was my favorite, but I was like, "What the fuck?" I, I loudly said this. I was like, "What the fuck?" And and because it was over, just yeah, like that. Be, but I I viewed Athena almost as a phoenix, you know, as a dark phoenix character. Mm -hmm. Where if, like, she lets go, she fucks everybody up, and she's, like, the most powerful being. That's how I kept seeing her. Well, that was, that was, so that was the movie, that was, like, literally implied. She's the strongest in in the sense of fighting, and Gilgamesh was the strongest in in the sense of physical force. Right. Which he was my favorite. Yeah, he was okay. Um, but I just, just the complexity behind Thena, and she had, like, that Dark Phoenix thing with, like, if I really want to, I could fuck you up, mm-hmm. you know? Uh, so that's when they she, like, basically got rid of the deviants in, like, a split second. I was like, okay, that just shows how powerful she actually is. So I was like, all right, I buy that. Um, we got we got bigger fish to fry. But I do agree they would have made a bigger deal out of it. Um, because, the, the like, I feel that that story would have led to a little uh, to a, a line that would have been a little bit more existential and more thought provoking and i don't know if i'm using this uh term right but i I think it's a little like high concept like something um subjective but they ended it like that and i was like oh it definitely could have been stretched down to two movies but um where like you find out at the end like the 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 whole ajac part Mm -hmm. and you could leave it like that but instead, we find out we f- we find out that este vato, el, el, el Superman's is a bad guy, or he's at least thinking he's a bad guy, and you get that all that like kind of thrown in, and then you get that battle, and then it's this battle, and then I was more irked by how Cersei just fucked up the Celestial by touching him. It was like I felt this power, so I took a knee, and it froze him. So I was a little bit like, uh. I okay. do understand how that happens, but I it's, mean, it's, they it's, say that they connected with the celestial, and she. I get all that. I get all that. Sub, but I was like, okay, it's very anticlimactic, though. Oh, very. And now we have a dead celestial coming out the fucking earth. Yeah, it was a little okay. 
so how is is this gonna affect the 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 greater marvel universe because now that that came in how the hell are not our uh let's say doctor strange or spider-man or whoever comes out next how are they or shield let's say shield how are they not gonna in, uh, like in, intervene like what is this what happened please somebody explain that's what i thought i was like you need there's there has to be something that explained this because as it was i was like okay but what so the, but wasn't the it like in the, it out? wasn't it like in the middle of nowhere though like there was no no civilization so they would have to be like actively looking for it to see it so they could just hide it as like an iceberg or whatever which is kind of what they kind of end up doing a well bit, it's no? like a giant marble statue but remember like in the oh i'm saying like a lot Remember in the in the beginning when they when they were talking about how the celestials are born. Mm -hmm. When the celestial pokes out his hand, the whole planet starts exploding. Yeah. And this motherfucker was half out and the planet was okay, nothing happens. Yeah. How the fuck is that happening? I don't know. I wasn't thinking of none of that. I was just Oh, I was like, getting like, pissed off. I was oh my god. You're too invested That's, for some reason. <laughs> Yes, because I was just taking it as face value. But what annoyed me the most was is that she just touched him and felt his power and shut him off. I'm like, uh, all right, a little, which, a little which allegedly there. there there can't even be, she can't be, even strong enough to do. Not yet. I mean, the Celestials went in the comics. The Celestials went against Thanos with the Infinity Gauntlet, and not even they could take him down. And yeah, they hurled planets at them, the, and now. People from Thanos's race can take a celestial down. I was like, "Fuck you!" You were way too pissed off, man. <laughs> yes, yes, I was. And You're this, way and too I didn't invested. even. Yeah, okay. I was because, because, and and then they say, "Well, I'm Thanos's brother," and that contradicts it. The movie contradicts itself in that way because Thanos, in the lore, is an eternal with deviant genes. So he was fucking up the whole universe because he, I mean, because of who he is and they can't intervene unless a deviant is fucking it up and he's a deviant. So why the hell did, didn't they, I mean, it, it, a lot of stuff didn't make, made no sense at all. And You're I'll, talking about arrows at the end? Yeah. Hmm. No, and, 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 and arrows, he's part of the eternal race. Yeah. The eternals lived on Titan. So well, he said he was an eternal when he walked in. Oh yeah. So, and, but Thanos is an eternal slash deviant. Yeah. So that contradicts. Control. Yeah. He contradicts whatever they said. So if he was fucking up the universe, they had it to intervene. It could be half brother if you really think about it, if they really want to explain it. it oh, no. They really brother. are brothers. Right. But I'm saying in the MCU, they can flip it to like justify the thing you're just saying. They're, oh, yeah. They can make shit up. But you you already jumped way too way ahead of me. Hold on. Um <laughs> The biggest flaw of the movie is that this should have been two movies where they like again they set up they should have set up the thing you end up you end with a Salma thing right and you end mm -hmm. killing the guy you end kill the the deviant right yeah they just don't just throw it off I mean make something of it right you you and then you, the second movie is you got to get together again and figure out how to attack this big thing then you Salma dies and then you figure out that is this guy dying or whatever the fuck you could have made it into two movies. Mm -hmm. so like it's too long to be one movie and it's not long enough to be two movies yes so they're like all right let's just make it a big movie so that's where it, it really faults because i didn't give a shit really about i wasn't invested emotionally by any character it was just mm -mm. like oh cool hey cool hey she can't talk oh, he gay. Oh, cool, hey. oh, they, they love each other and then these two love each other and then it's just like okay cool, cool, cool. kumail's an asshole okay she's a little girl okay cool 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 I was just more interested in Thena. That's why she was my favorite character. When we said that, it, the the thing that sets it up the best, like the best part of the movies, are the setups. Is now we bring in Eros, which was the first cuts uh, post credit scene, where he walks mm -hmm. in and he says like, "Well, I'm Thanos's brother. We're gonna help you." So it sounds like they're gonna get Eternals from other galaxies or whatever, other planets. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because there's a bunch of them. To Some of them up. died in Titan. Right. To team up and save the other Eternals, mm -hmm. so that's one of the one of the cut scenes, one of the post credit scenes. Mm -hmm. The final post credit scenes was that was the part that I'm more excited about. Is oh that 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 kind of erased all the pissed offness I had. 
in two seconds. Yeah, for real. So Kit Harrington is also running around this movie. He's playing Dane Whitman, who is right now uh, Cersei's lover or whatever the fuck, right? And towards the end, he's like, oh, <laughs> I love her. You, you got like no more secrets. And I got to tell you something about my family. And then she completely oh, disappears. Uh, homeboy walks over to the thing, grabs a a a, a sword and then there's a mysterious voice that says, N- I wouldn't do that for you, Mr. Whitman. Sure about that? I was going fucking crazy to try to figure out who the fuck that person was. Oh, I, f- I finally really? did. I finally did. I was trying to do it on my, se- on my own to figure out who that was. Oh, I knew. I kind of knew right away. And I was really excited about it because I just. I, <laughs> I didn't rec- I mean, I, like I recognized the voice, but it was driving me. It's one of those driving me crazy that I was like, who the fuck is that? Um. But let's go oh, back to no. Kit Harrington though, because I knew they they paint him as just like a boyfriend. But you mm-hmm. know, it's fucking Kit Harrington, bro. It's Jon Snow. Mm-hmm. He's gonna be he's gonna which be something, hate. which I didn't. I don't care for the character. I don't. Mm. I don't Kit Harrington is fine. He's whatever. Uh, but you're not gonna get Kit Harrington just to be a fucking boyfriend. Right? Mm-hmm. He's gonna play a bigger part in the MCU. I didn't. I don't know shit about the Black Knight, but apparently oh, he is the Black Knight. Mm-hmm. who's been running around he runs around with Cersei he becomes an Avenger as well he runs around and does does Black things he's, he's, he's very <laughs> he's a very pivotal and powerful um, component in mm-hmm. in the comic world he's 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 led the the Avengers at one point and then as you do he's also one of those complex characters that have turned bad and like he's fought with the Avengers so I don't know if he's going to be a good guy or if he's going to be a bad guy. From the movie, I kind of felt like he was going to be a bad guy. Because mm-hmm. that's what the Eternals is actually missing. Like one one bad guy. This is the bad guy. Let's get him. You know, this was more. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's 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 an event that's going to happen. And they, they, they differ in opinions. And that's where that that fight comes with Superman and the other guys. Where it's like. No, I'm gonna. We're gonna do this, and it's like he's not necessarily a bad guy. They just conflict on this one thing. Mm-hmm. I from the movies, I feel like Kit Harrington might be a bad guy, but because of the inclusion of the last, per- I don't know. I don't know where they're going with him. But uh, today, this morning, I saw the video where the director uh, Chloe Zhao confirms who the voice is in the post credit scene, and is mm-hmm. none other. And Mahershala Ali's blade. Yeah, when yeah. when when his he, when he, when he said that at the end, I was like, "No te pases de verga," because I, I was like, I, I know his voice because I've seen uh, Battle Angel Lita so many times mm. that it kind of got ingrained in my brain. And I and I told my girlfriend, you know what? I think this guy's blade. And she was like, "Are you sure?" And I was like, "Oh, I'm fucking sure." I would have agreed with you if I was there with you, but it Mm -hmm. just caught me off guard that I barely heard it. Like, I wasn't paying attention to the voice, you know? Yeah. It it was two seconds, too. It was like, I wouldn't do that if I were you, Mr. Whitman or whatever. And I was like, what the fuck? Wait, was that? Was that? Like, I I wish I had a rewinder to rewind it, and I would have I would have got Blade. Mm -hmm. Because mm-hmm. his voice is so thing, but I'm not thinking of Blade. I'm not thinking of putting together Blade and the Eternals. So I was like, eh, it's Samuel. It's a black guy. It's a fucking mm-hmm. black guy. It has the silky smoothness mm-hmm. of a black guy. That's a black guy. Oh, that. And I told my that, cousins, that's a fucking black guy. And then I sent them this video, and they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I was never thinking of Mahersha Ali. At oh, all. The, I was because my 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 brother in law he told me, oh, I think Nick Fury was the one, and I was like. That that's can't like be easy, fucking right. Yeah, that was he, like that's an easy cop out. But mm-hmm. I didn't. That's I was saying that, but I was like, I don't think I don't. I'm not sure. It didn't sound like him, but no, I'm not it, sure. When I heard, it, that's why I flipped my shit because it sounded like so silky smooth and so cool. I was yeah. like, this can't. And and then boom, it was Mahershala. And he didn't and was, say motherfucker either, so it wasn't McFury with. <laughs> don't touch it, motherfucker. <laughs> See what? So that's why all the like the like the bad vibes i had vanished because i flipped my shit and i was happy as fuck because i was like okay now we have blade officially in the mcu I, yeah they announced it and whatever but he he's now cemented in something so since the only thing of the black knight i know is that he it goes around with curses and shit he now he's running around with blade who's supernatural motherfucker Oh, I'm so wet for the Blade movie now. Well, well, Blade doesn't believe in supernatural 
um, or he doesn't believe in like the power. So, so he he gravitates towards people who are more like let's let's say talent over power, physical powers. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, and the Black Knight's deal is that the he doesn't have powers. The sword possesses powers, mm -hmm. but there's a but catch. what does it make it do? If there's a well, he's just super powerful and he's like a crazy swordsmith. He's badass, right? With okay. the sword. But the catch with the sword is that uh, it, it's cursed. So the more blood the sword sheds, mm -hmm. the more mad its owner becomes. Oh, that's what the, the, like, the death is my reward thing is? Yeah. Oh, shit. So the more people oh. he kills with the sword, the crazier he starts to get. So, because Blade comes in, he's a crazy swordsmith. We know this already. I don't it's know man. if, yeah, I don't know if they're gonna, <laughs> I don't know if there's gonna, um, if they're gonna establish this before the movie. What are they gonna do with his movie? You know, I don't know mm -hmm. what they're gonna do with that. Are they just gonna take what we they expect we know about Blade? I don't know what they're gonna do with Blade, right? Well, but, maybe the Blade movie or the Blade Stinger is that he goes to to tell the, this fucker. You sure about that? At the end. Mm hmm. Right. I hope it's that. I hope they don't just pick up right after this. I no, want I want a Blade own thing and then bring Blade later to this. Let let Blade the movie end with this. That's what I want. Mm -hmm. Because it sounds like it could be Blade be this guy's mentor. Oh, and I, that would be fucking amazing. It would be okay, but I want to see Blade shining for a second though. Oh yes. I don't. I, oh. I don't want to be old, old Blade. I'm old veteran Blade. No, no, no. I want to see young Blade kick ass. That's the whole point of these movies. I want to see young Blade kick ass with his time in the sun. Like he, he, he spot, spot, spotlight on Blade, whooping all the ass. Give me at least one movie, and then he can mentor whoever the fuck he wants. Show me why Blade deserves to be the mentor first before you be like, he's the mentor of this guy. And I like, I like Black Knight. He's a different character. Never heard of him before. Making me do research. That's great. It's interesting, mm -hmm. you know, the fucking sword spills blood and becomes mad. That's great. Fantastic. Great. Blade. I, we know Blade, but we want to see young kick-ass Blade then bring them together. And it, the, besides, it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be in movie form. They, they could be a Disney Plus series of The Black Knight, too. Uh-huh. But I have no idea where they're going with that. But like I said bef before, what this set up was more interesting than the whole movie. Yes, I completely agree, which, which was sad. what pissed me off. And and what I heard from the hater podcast, guys, that the, that this would have been a kick ass story uh, series. And I was like, yeah, it would have been. It's but too it was, expensive, it, though, man. Oh, yes. Another thing, huh. the, the, the <sighs> this is and this is coming from uh, Thor. What was the second, Thor, uh, third Thor's name? Dark. Whatever. Ragnarok. Oh no, that's the second one. Uh, oh, the, oh, Thor, oh, whatever. Oh, oh. Uh, so, in Thor Ragnarok, we saw a lot of designs from the original. Uh, well, from this dude called Jack Kirby, and he d did some crazy shit. This little dude and he called Jack Kirby. Yeah, we know Jack. Yeah, the fucking creator of all this shit. Yeah, Jack Kirby. See, <laughs> so he did. Well, he created some designs. That were crazy and outlandish, and they did him on Thor uh, Ragnarok. Right, and the uh, the 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 masters he's called the master, right? The ma the el pendejo este Timon. I don't know. I don't remember his name, but yeah. Well, well, this guy. Yeah, her his bodyguards are basically what the Etern the the Celestials are supposed to look like. Yeah, and when I saw the the Celestials right here, I was like, <laughs> why the fuck are they rocks? So I I really didn't like the design with them, because I I already saw them in Ragnarok and I was like, well, well why didn't they do this here? I mean they're in the same universe. They could have, uh, I mean the mask. I'm gonna call him the mask because I can't remember his name. Um, he could have just taken the design. He saw the Celestials taking the design and made his armor for the for his bodyguards, but they were already there. Why didn't they use those designs for the Celestials? Brad, you nitpicking like a motherfucker. But for me, that's that shit like that, that pissed me off. Yeah. Apart from everything else, you like you're pissed off at shit that nobody else is looking at. Well, I don't care about anybody. Else. I know, but it's like I, I, I'm trying to tell you to chill. 
he, like you're going hard in the paint. Like, I didn't fuck. I didn't remember that shit. And I just saw Thor Ragnarok a couple months ago. I wasn't thinking about the design. I don't remember what he looks oh, like. Oh, I was thinking about a lot more shit. But I was. Well, but you just take by the-, the end. I said that's why I kind of chilled by the end. And then Blade came out, but by the end, I just gave up. <laughs> Well, you should have like you gotta give up from from the get go to even enjoy this movie. But the, like, there's stuff to enjoy about this movie. I'm not trying to defend the movie. Like, we still agree by why it it, it didn't hit. Mm-hmm. But you like you mad at the motherfucker for well stuff yeah. that no one else noticed. Well, probably other. I wasn't even noticed, as yeah. pissed as in Halloween Kills, but no, I mean I was pissed. Yeah, I don't know. You, but by the end, I was like, okay, you know what? Fuck it. It, it it already exists. Nothing that I say or think is going to change it. God well, damn. we get what we get. God damn, bro. It's not that bad. Well, for me, it was. <laughs> All right. That's fair. Uh, leave a comment down below if y'all pissed as Felix. I think it sounds like <laughs> he, he going to need an extra therapy session just to get through Eternals. It sounds mm-hmm. like it fucked with him hard. But let <laughs> leave a comment down below what you guys thought about it. Um and any other movies that you're excited up for, theories on Blade's involvement, all that, anything, all stuff down in the comments down below. Uh, you can follow us personally at Enterprises, P-A-U-R-A-Z-A-S. You can follow my ghostly friend at Jafel91. You got a Facebook at Geeks, Flicks, and Joysticks, and also on Instagram. Go check that out. If you like this kind of stuff, leave a, you know, subscribe, like, all that good stuff, share to your friends and all that good shit. Uh, I'm going to ir- say it again. Thanksgiving weekend, your boy prepping like a motherfucker, and I'm excited and I can't wait. We'll drop a full Potter episode where Bubbles and I are gonna take the Pottermore test if it's still available. I don't know. After we have to, Felix and I are gonna check that out right now, <laughs> and we're gonna rank all eight films, top to bottom. Yeah. Basically, review each one on the le- on the way down, and it's gonna be a fantastic argument if you think felix got hated over this lore imagine what he's gonna think about half blooded prince all that shit <laughs> thanksgiving weekend i can't wait anything you want to say to the beautiful people felix it's a travesty that we didn't get to see sam hayek or angelina jolie cleavage but hey we got what we got come on man hey For- cleavage that's fine but like, you don't have to see cleavage all time i'm gonna say this once and i'm never gonna say this again Sam Hayek cleavage is is godly. Yes, okay, you I cannot, understand. She, you cannot take it out of her. Her titties are eternals. I get it. All right. <laughs> you know what? Girl. I was afraid you do you. <laughs> Bye. You fuck. <laughs> you fuck. You fuck. <laughs> you fuck. We're gonna get canceled because we're misogynists and all we think about is the looks and shit. <laughs> yes. Take it out. I don't give a shit. <laughs> I was pissed when she was on the horse and her titties weren't bouncing like they should be, but I, whatever. I, that was whatever. Yeah, I, 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 